Uh, my name is Joana Alvarez Reyes. I'm from here, born and raised in Santa Fe, New Mexico. My name is Megan Pacheco. I am from here, from Santa Fe. My family's from Taos, New Mexico. I kind of started when I was about 14. That's when I kind of got into it at school, um, in Capitol High School, when they had the mariachi program there. I started off just, just singing in the group, and then I didn't really pick up guitar for like another, maybe almost two years later. I started in third grade in 1996 at Connie Elementary School under the direction of Ernesto Gonzalez. And it was a program in the schools and my dad played guitar, so he said, you should learn to play the guitar. And I hated it. <laughs> I would cry and then my instructor at the time in 1996 uh, took me to a mariachi conference in Tucson, Arizona, where I saw women playing and it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And I decided in 1996, when I was nine years old, that I was gonna do that the rest of my life. I can't pinpoint one person who's kind of like my inspiration. It's just been like a collection of things. And like she said too, like the first time, I went to my first mariachi conference when I was 14. And to me, that was just, that was life changing. My biggest inspiration was always Mariachi Reina de Los Angeles. They're a female-based mariachi out of Los Angeles, and they're the ones that I saw for my first time, and still to this day, I kind of, even on the way here, I was listening to their CD and their music. So I feel like they're my inspiration, and now that I have my family, my kids, they're my inspiration to keep working, getting better. Some of my favorite accomplishments are the places we've we've been to, like just being in music, we've we've had so many cool opportunities come to us. Like just out of the blue, we got invited to go to Europe the first time. We went to Europe for like almost a month and a half. We toured with a, a choir from Chihuahua, Mexico, and we went to the. It's it's kind of like the Choral Olympics. It's like Olympics, but for choirs around the world. So we got to accompany them in their folklore category. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. We went to Belgium, Austria, Germany. Um, where else did we go? France. So that was really neat. And then kind of like four years later, out of the blue again, we just got invited to go with Baila Baila from Albuquerque to go to Europe again. We went to London and then we spent like another two weeks in Spain. Just so many cool opportunities arise and you never know when they're gonna come. I'm glad to know that like people see us sometimes as like uh, representing Santa Fe or they know we're from Santa Fe or that we kind of have a little small part in, you know, putting Santa Fe on the map, sort of. Just participating in different world events, the World Choir Olympics. We also uh, participated in the folklore festival in China. So we went to China, We just traveling, getting to know people, playing for dignitaries, um, playing for- Celebrities. Celebrities. <laughs> we it's, just did a birthday party at Robert Redford's house like a week ago. <laughs> So it was his birthday party, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> to meet a lot of neat people and just just people in the community. Mm -hmm. It's super important because if we don't, it's gonna just fade out like into history somewhere. Especially mariachi, because it's already so old already. I mean, it comes from early 1800s probably. So I mean, if we don't, it's it's definitely gonna fade out. It's just gonna go away. We're, we're trying to do that right now. We're, we're trying, trying to keep it up. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to preserve the culture and the tradition of the music with our own youth mariachi program that we have here. And it's, um, it's supported by the Santa Fe Public Schools. Um, it's held at Milagro Middle School. And it's not just for the public schools, it's also for surrounding schools around the area. Mm -hmm. um, and it's free. It's free, we provide instruments, we provide the mariachi suit, and we provide the instruction for free. Um, you know, after, I feel like after our generation, it's really faded out a lot. Yeah. Um, There's like a gap there. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's at the point where we can't even find other players to play with us. So I think it's really important to keep it going, especially with the youth, and show them like, hey, this is part of you. This is part of your parents. This is part of your grandparents. Um, I know that when you're at family functions, you can turn on 89.1 and it brings back that feeling. You know, like, oh, this reminds me of my grandma's house. My grandma's no. house, or <laughs> it's old, but it's not outdated. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. It still continues to like the sound. At least is still evolving. It gets really elaborate. You know what I mean? But we still 
you know, preserve the original stuff, but it doesn't stop evolving. I don't know if I have any final quotes, but um, I can say come visit us at some of our restaurants that we play at. Um, we play every Tuesday and Wednesday at Valentina's restaurant from 6.30 to 7.30. Um, that's at 945 West Alameda uh, in the Solana Center. And then we play every Friday at, Opeco, uh, at Pecos Trail Cafe uh, from 6 to 8. And then we play every Sunday at Tomasita's restaurant from 6 to 7.30ish. I say just introduce the music to your children or grandchildren and just keep the culture alive, the traditions alive. And we're here to, to help and inspire. Hopefully we inspire some children. Someone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>